<clears throat> okay, well, imagine the worst has happened and you've had a crash. You've um, reinstalled something. Whatever you've done, you've buggered up your site. It doesn't seem to appear anymore. Well, the first thing you've got to do is go and see if there is a copy of it somewhere. So click on your on your um, domain, so not domain, click to find your domain, go to Spotlight and type in domain, D-O-M-A-I-N, okay. And see what comes up. I'm going to have absolutely heaps of them. Double click on the top of it and you'll find a whole bunch of domain files or none okay or just one um, if you find a few have a look at them and see what's uh, what's inside them and you can do that by for instance I'll look at this one here it's got this one here has it was create, created yesterday so I'm going to go across to it and find it okay to do that I'll right click on it reveal it in the finder there it is there. Now I want to have a look inside that domain file. So I right click on the domain file and I go to show package contents and there is the package contents of the domain file. In other words that's what's inside it. Now let's have a, just a quick look at what's there. You can see I've got God knows what this domain file is. <coughs> Pardon the noise but it's my bloody parrot who's um, gets insistent when I make uh, calls. Oh, I know, this is somebody else's domain. That's why I'm looking at it. Sorry, Randy. <laughs> I'll find another domain. That's somebody else who gave me their domain file to have a look at and solve a problem. Uh, domain sites too, that'll do. Um, reveal in Finder. Domain sites too. Show package contents. That way you can have a look and see whether it's the site you're looking for. For instance, I can see in there uh, a JPEG. Three dogs. One, there we are. There's three dogs for you. There's my bloody beautiful three dogs who are now actually a lot older and one of them, two of them are blind now so they run around, each other, run around and bang into each other all the time. Which provides great hilarity. George, come here. Go and sit on the ground for a bit. Go on. Okay. <clears throat> now, if you've got that, then that's a domain file. In other words, if you look at it and you say, oh, yeah, that's the one. That's It's got all the stuff in it. Okay, great. No problems. All you have to do is to double-click on that, and it should open the domain site. If not, go to Open With, and then iWeb, and uh, it should open up. Okay, so that's one way of finding a domain see if the domain file is there. But if you notice that the, the big problem with domains is, go back to that site again, reveal in Finder, here it is, the big problem with it is that everything's in it, okay? If you had a look inside that you'd find that um, it's, uh, how big is it? Oh there you are, it's 4.6 megs on site. It looks like a single file but in fact it's a whole bunch of different files. Right click, show package contents. You know if you can't right click you can always um, do it with the Apple key. Apple and click and that'll right click that it does an effective right click for you. Uh, and you can see all the bits and pieces that are in that, that go to make up the site itself. Now the, the problem is that if you've published that site and you've got it, and this is where most people find themselves with a problem, right? Is what's happened is that they've somehow managed to lose their domain file which should be backed up and I've got you need to look through some of my tits, the early tits on uh, iWeb 6 and iWeb 8 um, to find out how you back that file up best I think to use backup which is the Apple file that comes with um, uh, a .Mac account if you haven't got a .Mac account I think you can still download it but anyway you should back that domain file up to your iMac or somewhere else, up to your dot, dot .mac or somewhere else on your iMac, so that you've constantly got one if it blows up. Because like any file, they'll get corrupted eventually, right? So you've got to have backups that you can go back to, 
this will be cured with leopard hopefully but um, up until leopard comes out that's what you've got to do right so the only other way to do it and I hate to tell you this the only way I understand of doing it is to open up iWeb as a blank site get a blank site up um, which is probably what it'll do anyway it'll ask you if you've got a, a thing the problem is you'll open it up and that's exactly what it'll look like it'll be blank and there won't be any pages it'll look just like that you need to then open that up open up the site that you've got on the server so for instance I've got my site on the server and rebuild the site now that's a real pain in the ass but it's the only thing you can do so you look at it and you say oh well okay the first page is australianmac.com so I type that in so it's not too bad but you know um, it's not as good as it could be not as fast as it could be or whatever <clears throat> that becomes your first bit then I say oh okay well I want this so I'll, what I'll do is I'll drag this um, and you can actually just drag the text across hold it there click on it drag it across to there and you've got welcome to australianmac.com you see what I mean so it's not too bad even the movie look at the movie uh, click on the movie drag that across and uh, that should that'll open up there okay make it a bit bigger so you just have to go through and and drag the stuff that you've got so you look at it and go oh, shit it's not so good when it keeps going off to another page because you've made it a link so just drag across it oops um, drag across till you've got it click on it once hold it drag it across and you've got that and that even um, has a it's even got a um, a link on it although I'm not sure what the link is uh, let's have a look and see go to the inspector link oh no it just says enable link okay well, he hasn't, hasn't got a link there so far so anyway that's basically all you can do right so at least you don't have to retype all the text again and when you think about it most of your site is going to be text and photos and so forth like that so you drag that across you know to what it is you want um, look I had to rebuild mine it was a real pain in the ass when I first converted it I lost it I had to rebuild it but it gave me a chance to redesign the site and make it look a bit better so it's not terribly you know unless you've got a site with 50 pages or 100 pages or something like that it's not going to take you forever to do that didn't take long just to, to mock that up um, and you just keep going like that so I'm really really sorry I commiserate with you I wish there was an easy way of doing it uh, there may be I've never seen one so I don't know that it exists um, do a bit of a find you know maybe there's some way of doing it but I'm pretty sure there isn't because of the nature of the way um, iWeb works in terms of controlling all of its its uh, media or assets so you know it's got to have those internal links in it if for instance we quit that now um, so we uh, if we save that um, save what you'll find is don't uh, don't publish it because I don't want it published um, if we quit that now what we'd find is a um, I think that's it there um, show package contents oh no it's not the one okay whatever it'll be it'll be somewhere bugger if I know where but you will have saved it in a particular spot and uh, from that you'll find that um, when you open the package contents those things will be inserted that film will be there um, the whole lot so um, take it from there so okay sorry about that guys so I wish I could give you better um, <laughs> better information but that's as good as it gets and I'll see you later